How's it going, everybody? My name's Sugar Cat, and welcome back to Paradigm. We killed the water cooler, the terrible, evil, agony-filled water cooler last night, and now we're going through this mystery door. If any of you guys can read Russian, what does that say? Does it say door? It's like eight letters. It probably says door in Russian. Okay, I went over and I picked up the audio cassette that was on top of that computer tower over here. Because I think it might say something like, Oh, Paradigm's the savior of all of our people. We have to get him. And maybe I'll actually learn more about my past and... That's a creepy door to go through. Ooh, pick up your tour guide here. It's a Mega Bro Dupagen. Um, it's okay. I was never a huge fan of guided tours. I'm more of a lone wolf myself. Oh. Putting my own narrative on things, for example, Mona yep. Lisa was an ex cup down on her luck. Then Da Vinci, the lovable dog, showed her that life is worth living. See, much more interesting. That is far more interesting. Oh, there's actually a few things to look at in here. Um, Ethernet cables. Ethernet cables are the real modern hero. They transfer they? vital yeah, information they at phenomenal speeds. I can know what yeah. my favorite celebrity had for brunch in seconds. That is what's important. Can I pick up one of these guides? Oh, Whoa. I can. This is actually pretty cool. It's a Tupagen with cassette. I heard they only made one batch because children began to herald them as oh. the one true god. Let's do this. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Doopa. Loading Bluetooth facility tour. Okay. Can I? Oh. Welcome to the official tour for Dupa Genetics. We'd like to dispel the rumors of being an evil company and take you on a wonder-filled trip. That's a rumor? That in no way will cause you any injury. Unless, of course, you are spying for the ethics union. <laughs> in which case, we are not responsible for your painful, fatal accident. Emphasis on accident for all you lawyers out there. Holla! Please step onto the red <laughs> dot at the end of the hall when you are ready. I am not ready yet. I got things to do. Oh, the red dot over there, I guess. Um... I need this. Wait, where's my cassette? Oh, use. Music. Is this selling to... Oh, it's this actually... This is a Pendingleworths audiobook production. Welcome to the six-part series, Selling to Mordlokians. This series will equip you with the ultimate knowledge to sell efficiently to our new alien overlords. An emerging market ever since the partial invasion. Our first lesson will warm you up with some more- Okay, that's fine for now. We don't need to listen to that right now. <laughs> I'm sure it goes on what and on and on about how to sell for? things to Gnomes? aliens. Oh wait, engraved on the bar it says, Constructed in loving memory of Kordak. The gnome after he fell to his grave. Aww. Is there anything else there? Yes, there is. The black abyss? Oh, there's an actual abyss over this ledge. Psh, I've seen darker. Ha I think I hurt its feelings. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what? A warning sign. Warning. Do not dive in the shallow end. Makes sense. Um, it's a crack, the great, uh, the severed leg? This really grosses me out. If you're going to use severed legs for decor, at least do it properly. Is there a proper way to do that? Once your wall is cracked, you can never go back. Unless you hire a respectable tradesperson. <laughs> and a leaking vent? Hey, this place also leaks radioactive liquid. Glad I share something in common with the owner. Yeah. This is going to come in handy for small talk later. Yeah, I'll be like, hey. Some people see a fire extinguisher. I see a party pooper. The fun in fire situations is the panic and pushing of small children, not saving lives. 
Can I pick I it up? I probably should leave it just in case Aww. I start a fire. Uh, is that everything? Oh, no. Location marker. It appears this is one of the many hallways. At least the amount of calories I burn at the end of this adventure will allow me to eat a few extra balls of ice cream and not hate myself. Okay. Oh. oh. Congratulations. You made it to the red dot without dying. Was that an accomplishment? You are not ethics union scum. This concludes our tour of the Duper Genetics Facility. As a closing note, those yeah. cheap bastards couldn't pay for any more voiceover. How am I supposed to live on these terrible wages? I'm taking you down with me, Duper Genetics. You hear me? This whole place is going to explode any second! Get away from me! Thank you again for attending the Dupa Genetics Tour. Have a nice day. Huh. Is that his leg? <laughs> let's, let's just go this way. They're not very good Ugh, at keeping me prisoned. Weird. Feels like I've been here before. Have I? There's only two things here. Okay, let's go to the dupe organizer first. Okay, S. Bill, occupation, security guard. I really wish something really crazy would go down around here. All I get to do is beat down on employees who insult the company on social media. One guy tried to turn Olaf into a meme and I got to waterboard him. Gets really boring after a while to be honest. I'm considering applying to the government's cyborg program. program. I've been told it helps with picking up and also with ED, apparently. Okay, weird. Um, I think. Ooh. Stain? I've always been so fascinated by stains. Mainly because I can relate to them so much. Really? Be the first to try our new product for 2027. Instant... Instant something. Oh, God. No. After all these buttons I'm coming across, I think I'm developing an irrational fear of them. But I can't pass up on a button in red. So seductive. I'm a little bit nervous to push this button, but... If I could pick oh, it up and it, click get it as far away from my life as I can, I probably would. Use. I swear to God, if you do any weird stuff, I'm going to be so upset with you. I'm not sure how effective the sun treatment is on buttons, but I'm going to do it. Oh, God. Oh, no. Holy crap! Please, please make it stop. No, no, this is great. Oh my. Oh. Thank God that is over. I was actually a raver one time in my life. Then I was in a fatal shuffling accident. Ten people died that day. That was the day I hanged up my fat pants. Oh. Laser pointer. After each rave, a baby laser pointer is born. Rave reproduction is a... Strange process. Is it? Is it? <laughs> I used to tease an elegant with one of these. Then it got the restraining order oh. against me. Okay, so we got a laser pointer. Exit to hallway three. Okay. Holy. Oh, fuck. John. Oh, my. It's my John 3 Diaz again. Oh, God. Thank God you called. Is the station still going to explode? Oh, yeah, about that. I kind of made that up just so I could have a few birds over and have some privacy. You're always at home, mate, and AI needs what? privacy. What? Oh, I feel it's bare dog. Ugh, I'm going to unplug you for at least a month next time I see you. Yeah, fair enough. Can you uh, help me get away from wherever I am? Yeah, nah. <laughs> Looks like I'm on my own again. <laughs> This Jesus. place ain't so bad. Save sure? for the underlying feeling of doom and extreme anxiety about why someone would teleport me through space and time only to be imprisoned by a talking water cooler. So, he made all that shit up? Really? Oh. Cupcakes oh. served by a nondescript humanoid. Just like how Communist Mama used to make them. Communist Mama? 
Oh god, we can talk. Hello? To him. Welcome to Cuppy Cupcakes. We put the eggs in cupcakes. Implying that you ache because you ate so much because it was so good. Not because you got food poisoning. Okay. Are these gluten free and vegan? Yes, most definitely. We make sure they have room to flap their wings and perch. Isn't that uh, ch chickens? Um, why the hazmat why the gear? Hazmat gear. Pretty sure we are below the Lefu Dawson here. Well, you see, I lived in the radioactive wasteland for so long, my body got accustomed to radiation. Now, when I don't get it and breathe fresh air, my body decides to shut down. I'm breathing in pure plutonium now. Oh, I love the smell of splitting atoms any time of day. Huh. Why the cupcake avatar? A nondescript gas mask wearing humanoid figure isn't exactly great for sales. Good point. I also get way more matches on online dating sites this way. Although when they find out I'm not a cupcake, it's a bit of a problem. We usually find a metal People want to date cupcakes? Do you get much business Do you here? get uh, much business here or... Oh, you have no idea. Office workers' lack of self-control really helps the cupcake business. I just replied to 10 emails. I deserve this. I'll have one more cupcake and start my diet. Then everyone lost their jobs and I lost a lot of customers. But I've got coupons and memberships now. They oh. will come. Don't you still need uh, customers for that to be effective? Don't you ever speak ill of coupons again. Huh. Tell me Can about this you, place. Can uh, you tell me anything about this place? Sure. It's the Dupa Genetics main facility. They make prodigy children here, as well as other useful products. I have a deal with the CEO that I can okay. set up shop here as long as I provide him with free cupcakes. Although he's dead now and all the employees are gone. Oh. But I have coupons. Believe in the coupon. Is there no one left? I would like to purchase a cupcake, please. Sure. Do you have cash, membership, or a coupon? No, I, I don't think oh. so. No cupcake for you. See ya. Okay. I'll peruse your cupcake selection later. This no soup for you. This is a cupcake library. Make sure to bring a coupon or cash. Hmm. Maybe I should start a cupcake library. Okie dokie. So I think we need to get ourselves... This is weird. Prodigy Child Chamber. These... These feelings. What is this? I feel a special connection with them. <laughs> Look at those stupid baby arms. Can I talk to Hello, it? Oh, Protege Child Hologram. Oh, just a hologram. You? Yes. I totally want the Protege Child now. Dibs on the wizard, babe. Okay. What else can I do in here? Just go to this machine? We sell more than just oh, designer man. children? This vending machine doesn't have a talking sentient sea creature as a cashier. What a jib. Whoa! Blackest, most... I... Gvilt? Cassette in existence? Instant Swedish person? Cooling fire? One life? How to get rich with adventure game guides? Instant tree seeds? Um... I don't have any money, I don't think. Why is this in the shape of my head? Can I push four? Bro, this ain't free. I need that cash money. <laughs> um, wait. Ooh, it's a little loose. Yeah. Maybe I can pick it up. Maybe. Um. <laughs> Damn it! Just out of my reach. These goods for nothing mutant arms. Crap. Okay. Okay. We'll be back. Can I like? Hello, talk to product it? peddler. I've always wondered what it would feel like to permanently cripple my back. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna need some cash. Uh, it's an uppy downy. I much prefer these to lefty righties. Uppy downy. Bing. Of course. Why? Why would I expect anything different? I am shocked and appalled. This is the first elevator I've been in which doesn't have the smooth, crisp smell of urine. Someone in management is clearly dropping the ball. 
there's a rat underneath the elevator. He has a little weight gym and a TV and I think a bong. <laughs> um, there's a bunch of things going on in here. There's an arm. I really wish I was the guy who came up with the idea of commercializing human gestures. The guy made some fat sticks. Okay. <laughs> Scientists are hot. You're goddamn right. Nothing makes me swoon like women who are masters of quantum mechanics. With them, you get lucky and get rejected simultaneously. Um, maintenance guys are ten times hotter. Crude graffiti, bringing hard-hitting social issues into the public eye. I salute you, graffiti. Is that a... Uh, is that a thing? <laughs> it's a plastic dying plant. I was not aware there was a market for a shitty broken down house decor. Okay. A cigarette advertisement? I can see how this went down. Jerry, I love your design, but you know what? I also love fish. Can we get the fish in there? That's a terrible idea, but because you're paying me, okay. Nice. Yeah, cause why not? Why not put a fish on there? Oh, oh, okay. Um, call mate. Lobby church. I don't know what that is. Uh, offices labs. Head mart? Call maintenance. Thank you for calling maintenance. Someone will be ready to help in 91,234 hours. Well, that's a bit much. Also, if this is Bob, the maintenance man, for God's sake, stop forgetting your maintenance code. Write down the elevator button pressing sequence somewhere. Oh. If you're going to write it somewhere nearby, like last time, write it in riddle form oh. so others can't use it. Oh. Troubleshooting mode activated. Please input security code button sequence now. Press again to exit troubleshoot mode. Oh. I think it's time to put in that code. You know, I got this bright idea. I think you should put in that code. Scooby bop, bit bop bop, put in that, put in that, put that code. Scooby bop. Hmm. I was sitting alone and I thought to myself, you should put in that code. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, it has to be this. I don't know what it would be, though. Scientists are hot. Maintenance guys are ten times hotter. Oh, yeah. yeah. High five that. Yeah. Ooh, that's weird. Okay. I don't have the code yet. I don't think I can Urge have the code yet. smoke rising. This fish-based advertising sure is powerful. You might I'm not expect sure. me to I'd press your butt. However, I'm much I I got nothing. Wow. The um the maintenance mode, I don't think we can do that. So we're gonna pick one of these. Um Oh. 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 I am on that level already. I should oh. go to the labs. Oh. Activate? Okay. I'm going up and down at the same time. What? You can't speak that kind of smack to me. Just because you're doing it telepathically doesn't mean it's not bad manners. You too, Mr. Yum Yums. Mr. Yum Yums? Ugh, not this again. Is that a two headed cat? The names aren't demeaning, they're cute. What? Just because oh. you're all high and mighty consulting me on corporate sabotage and money laundering, you think you're too good for the name Mr. Mittens? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Mr. Mittens? Nothing else to say. Uh, hello? Oh, I'm so little. What? Paradigm? We weren't going to liberate you till like four o'clock? Jesus rollerblading Christ. I had the most delicious bread prepared for lunch. I woke up early for that shit, packed little Tupperware boxes. What? Now you're telling me I have to wait? Yeah, nice one, Mr. Paradigm. What? If you weren't the key to taking down Duba genetics, you'd be done. Done, Paradigm. What? Done. No one messes with my spread. Uh, what? Sorry for liberating myself. Done. 
<sighs> Sorry, I just take my spreads really seriously. It gets the best of me sometimes. What, what the hell is going on? Ooh, I, I like, your, like hat. your hat. Thanks, I got it last week. It's probably my favorite now. As much as I like compliments, oh, I feel like we have more pressing things to talk about. That cat. Hey, who are you? I'm the leader of the rebel group Baxt. What does that Paxt. stand for? Okay. People against generally shitty things. That's Finally, a fantastic something group. Something I can get behind. Um. Uh, are you, what are you hiding? hiding anything under that jacket? Are you mutated too? Nah, I just keep all my snacks under here. Super practical. It is. I'm apparently the key to taking down dupla genetics. Yes, you're the all-important faulty prodigy child. Also, apparently, your innards hold the key to world domination. Whoa, I'm a faulty prodigy child? That's a pretty big reveal. I feel like it should have been more dramatic or heartfelt. You know, the fact that yeah. I was born for commercial gain in the lab and now they want to dissect me? I pretty much knew that already, but uh, you didn't know that. You're stone cold. I, yeah, I, I well, pretty much knew I'm that. I'm terrible at this uh, touchy-feely stuff. Last time someone cried in front of me, I just pat him on the head. Anyway, because of this, the Rebel Committee and my telepathic kitties recommended I commission a children's book to help explain it to you. Also because Those we weren't sure cats. if the deformations affected your brain. Eh, read this first, and I'll tell you how to get out of this mess. Wow. Your mummy is an evil company called Dupa Genetics. <laughs> Klaus was a big businessman with no ethics who owned the company named Dupa Genetics. This is amazing. He set up head office in Eastern Europe to save money and avoid an ethics law holdup. Is this? I thought there was a pop up. He was big Mr. Grumpy Face, hating almost everyone and every place. But he did love glam metal music and professional wrestling magic. He thought everyone was stupid for not liking both. That made him mad and sad, so he made an oath. That's Reddit <laughs> on the computer. To take over the world so everyone had to listen to glam and watch professional wrestling on every program. He started by inventing the fully customizable Prodigy Child, perfect for rich parents whose biological children are wild. Wow. No longer passing their name to their biological shame. The Prodigies eventually inherit their power and wealth after their parents experience a bit of bad health. Little okay. did they know, Klaus still had power over them to help oh. execute his plan of wrestling and glam mayhem. Oh. Meanwhile, he made Olaf the Sloth a living candy machine. Vomiting various candy every half an hour was his routine. Olaf loved oh. Klaas. Klaas did not. Constant candy was the only thing he sought. Hey Klaas, how are you? Okay. Hey, you wanna hang out? Hey, hey man, you wanna hang out? Hey, but wanna see a movie? I, I saw a trailer for I Want to Poop, but I have no hole. Looks pretty scary, huh? Should be good. Hey, have you seen my keys? Sorry, I haven't. Anyway, though, you want you want to hang out today? <laughs> kind of went, kind of went, kind of went Morty there. Kind of have you have you seen my keys? Klaus um, later died of type two diabetes from all the candy. <laughs> oh God. This made Olaf very sad and angry. No! <laughs> Olaf made a vow on his deathbed that he will continue his legacy instead. The only problem now that after 12 years, the prodigies suddenly pursue creative art careers. Oh. A lot of the time they do performing arts instead of business plans and pie charts. This isn't how pie charts work. Jason Durgenherger, Prodigy. How I feel about excelling consumerism, 2026 performance. But there was one mutated child facing many tragedies. Not affected, he kept making commercial electro melodies. Fat beats! That's me! Now Olaf wants to give Paradigm an autopsy. The key to fixing the defunct prodigy child army. Continuing class's plans to only make him happy. Okay. 
How about the artists? I'd much rather be doing my own stuff. But shit, man, I gotta pay them bills. This cheese and mac addiction doesn't come cheap, especially when it comes to my bowels. <laughs> That's, um, the guy who made the game, if anybody's curious. I'm done. I feel like I want all my news relayed to me via rhyme now. You can yeah. keep it for future reference. Did it make sense to you? Yeah. While slightly demeaning, yes. Yeah, we yeah. weren't sure how smart you were, especially after a few months of observation. So, <laughs> we winged it. You bit into Hot Pocket straight out the oven every time. Hey, I'm a Hot Pocket athlete in training. It takes serious I do that too. commitment. Burn the shit out of my also, mouth. Observation? I'm uh, not going to even Yeah, ask. wait, what? So now what? Basically, we need to get rid of Olaf. Well, not we, mostly you. Uh, do we really have to? I mean, the whole world domination thing is a pretty big downside. Yeah. Yes. Also, the part where I'm dissected for scientific purposes is not that great. But he seems like a big cutie. I just wanna. Um, hold him and give him infinity cuddles, put him in a pram and pretend he's a baby, post a photo on social media and reap the internet points, make him a cute antagonist in an adventure game. Um, hold I wanna give him, him cuddles. Give him infinity cuddles. That's true, he is pretty adorbs. Not that keen on listening to glam metal for the rest of my life though. No. Sometimes you need that doof doof or oons oons. Yeah. Although, then I wouldn't be able to make the fast electronic music album ever made. It wouldn't be that bad, honestly. I'd be banging in a skin-tight leopard suit. Well, if I had to be ruled by a dictatorship, it would be a sloth. I'd be it in a skin-tight leopard bad. suit. Honestly, I would be yeah. banging in a skin-tight leopard print. Please do not commit this sin against humanity. So Everybody anyway, this floating guy here is the only person who knows how to get rid of him. It can talk? That's the problem. The dumb asshole tried to escape when I came here to ask him. The teleportation went wrong Whoa. and ported his limbs around the facility. What you need to do now is collect said body parts. Okay. And put them all in the machine. I'll handle it from there. Okay. Good luck. Oh, Mr. Mitten says don't mess it up. Or he will passive aggressively push stuff off your desk. I'll keep That's that That's what they mind. do. Also, I took the restrictions off the elevator now. We okay. put them on because of the 80% failure rate. You should be fine, though. You've reaped enough bad karma, I think. Just look at your oh. face. Uh, oh. Thanks. Thanks. Nice. Oh, they were red because I couldn't use them. Okay. Okay. We got a lot of stuff to look at in this room. We got our elevator to go to. We have rooms to go to. We have body parts to find. To put the body together. To take down the evil genius sloth that's now running the company that wants to dissect me to do world domination and this crazy lady with a telepathic two-headed cat on her shoulder are trying to help me this game just keeps making more and more sense in my own head but <laughs> we'll leave it here for now thank you guys for watching make sure you hit that like button keep being amazing guys and keep being awesome and thank you for watching the stream last night it was a ton of fun i will see all of you in the next video